Hello, this is Jamie Magritte. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be using the Gangzal Mirror. I'll be using the Cactus and this little stand-up guy. And I just wanted a basic hello or thinking of you sentiment, so I found this hello from Free as a Bird. And then I'm going to be using the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. For paper, I have a piece of um, white, which is two by five and a quarter, a piece of granny apple, which is two and a quarter by five and a half, a piece of lovely lipstick, which is three by five and a quarter. And you can see I've already run it through that embossing folder. It gives that really cool texture. And just to do something a little bit different, I've cut my cardstock in half the long way. So it's four and a quarter by 11, scored and folded at five and a half. Okay. Very first thing I wanna do is bring in this piece here. Oh, I almost forgot. A uh, soft suede ink pad, a little bit of the crinkle seam binding, and then I have some blends. I have the um, lovely lipstick combo, the granny apple green combo, the light pool party, and then I have the ivory. These light soft suede and the dark crumb cake. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is stamp this cactus. <clears throat> on the meerkat with the soft soft suede ink. Make sure I was thinking correctly. Okay, so I'm going to start at this end, right in the center of the paper from top to bottom, basically. And it's about a quarter of an inch from the end. Okay, and then just for placement, so I get an idea. Well, I might as well go ahead and stamp them. We'll stamp the meerkat right next to it. just going to be where his feet are like just about where the bot the dirt is for the um, cactus just below see it's just below where the dirt is oh you can't see it let me move it up there you go all right now we're going to stamp three more cactuses on here and if it's easier stamp one over here first We're going to try to make them all in a line. One here. And then one in the middle. Okay. And while we're stamping, we're going to bring in the card base. And up here in this corner, we're going to stamp our sentiment. Hello. And then we can put the ink away. these stamps off so I don't get ink anywhere I don't want it. This is the Stampin' Chamois. I'll just clean it like that and then I touch it somewhere else in case there's any residual ink. It doesn't usually but every once in a while if your chamois is dirty we'll pick up a little bit of the dirtiness from the chamois. Okay. Done with those. All right. So now let's bring this back in and bring in our blends. And I'm going to start by coloring in these little flowers. And so I'm going to take the dark color, and today normally I use the larger tip, 
but for the flowers it's tiny so I'm going to use the bullet tip and I'm going to just do little scribbly and then a couple little dots down here at the bottom. A little scribbly where those a couple little dots. I'll show you just a second here. You see how I did that? Okay, now I'm going to just color over that rest of that flower with the light. When you can color right over what you've already colored, it helps it to blend. Just color over the edge of it, not completely over it. Okay, now we're going to come in with the greens. And I'm going to take the dark green and I'm going to I'm going to use the, I think I need to get a new one of these. Uh, wherever these uh, lines are that are built into the stamp, I'm going to draw a dark line there on either side of it. going to uh, do along the edge on the on the one outside oh, let me change tips I can do it faster Okay, and I want to do a little bit of dark up here at the top. Put that small tip back. Okay, then I'm going to fill in the rest with the light. For the mirror cat, I use the um, dark crumb cake. Let me double check. Get a scratch paper here. I can't remember which is the darker of the two. the uh, light soft suede because it's a if you look it's a warmer color see this is a, a cooler color so I want to use the warmer color on the warm live animal okay so I'm going to take the um, light soft suede and I'm going to color around the outside edge of the meerkat Anywhere where there's a little bit of marking where the meerkat would have markings, you know, in the stamp itself, the shading. I'm going to use the, this color and down here on his feet. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the ivory and I'm going to fill in the rest. I'm trying not to color in his eyes. All right. 
Now I'm going to take that uh, dark crumb cake and I'm going to do the ground. I'm going to use the brush tip. I'm going to turn my paper like this so I can actually get like a brush brushing type lines. Trying to extend that line right behind the meerkat and under him. Okay, that's all of our coloring. I'm going to come back in with this dark because it doesn't seem quite as bright and I want it a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to tap in a little bit more of this dark color down here at the base. I'm just tapping it in. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now we can assemble our card. It's really very easy. We're going to bring in our base. Well, let's just um, put this onto here first, and I'm going to use the Tombow for that, the multi-purpose liquid glue. You can use your snail. This is just my adhesive of choice. Uh, not getting much, but there we go. Center it up on the granny apple green piece. Just a little too harsh. I want the shadow in there, but I don't want it so harsh. Let's add a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this. I'm mumbling again. There we go. All right. And we need to add our ribbon on there as well. Let's just take off these bottom ones. Bring in our ribbon. dry and staticky in here. I'm going to tie a bow down over on this end. Okay, more ribbon than I need, but it up. One more time. Oops, too far. Didn't go and then all of a sudden it went. Okay, and then I'll bring in some uh, ribbon shears. Trim these ends. Now, I'll bring in this piece and we'll put our brick on. It's going to go down here about a um, quarter of an inch, maybe a, almost three eighths of an inch from the bottom. <clears throat>
Come on, Rip Glue. Your new bottle. I, I left it sitting open on my desk overnight, so it's a little plugged. There we go. It's going to have uh, about an eighth of an inch on the sides and about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch from the bottom. Okay, let's remove the backings on the rest of these dimensionals. I think I got them all. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on top of these ones because the ribbon's sitting on top of them. And then I'm going to put this down here so it's got about a uh, eighth of an inch to a quarter inch, and it's the same distance from the sides. There we go. And there's our card. There's a card we just made together. Oh, I forgot one step. I want to take that light pink and put a little bit of pink on his cheeks. Just a little bit. I'm going to come back in with that um, ivory and blend it out. There we go. There's the card we just made together. And here's the one I did previous. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find some time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.